Um, today, in this video, I'm just going to be showing, um, I'm modifying the Anycubic i3 Mega S um, with some anti-Z wobble brackets and bearings. Um, these are standard 608 bearings, I think, for like uh, skateboards and stuff. Um, and I'll, I'll post a link to uh, Amazon or eBay so you can uh, get these. So all we're going to do is it's going to prevent this from wobbling, basically, with the bearing inside of it. Um, so let's go ahead and put them on and see how how it does. So first thing you got to do is take the bearing, slide it right over the end of it fits perfectly. Uh, slide it right there. Oh, I don't want it to fall down yet. Sorry. And this should fit pretty tight. It's very tight. All right, and I want it much higher than this though, so let's back that out. Oh, yeah, it's super tight. Okay. There we go. I want it all the way up here. All right. Then we'll try to push that bearing down in there. It's pretty tight fit. Um, really tight fit. I'm going to try to slide this up a little more. I want it right at the top. And that is perfect. Um, I'm probably going to take a little bit of hot glue and put it right here. Or maybe on the inside right there. On the edge. And maybe on the inside right here. Just to make sure it doesn't move up or down. So for this one, it's the same thing. Uh, put this on here first. That one fits a little looser. Uh, bearing. Oh, and don't put the bearing in there first. Um, once it's in there, you, you'll be trying to clip this on up here, trying to get it over this, and it's not going to work. I tried it, um, and you'll end up breaking one of these. Let's go all the way up. Let's push the bearing in. Nice tight fit. And try to go up as high as we can. There we go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just uh, test the uh, Z-axis, uh, Z see how, if it can still go up to normal height or if anything blocks anything here. Um, good so far. And I always keep these super well lubricated. I mean, they're, I think it's got gear oil on it. Um, but it's, it's always worked good, and I've had this printer for a very, very long time. Years. And I just keep upgrading it and fixing it along the way, and it just gets better and better. It prints fantastic. Come on, guy. Alright. So it's not 